Hi guys, welcome to Essential Updates. So today I'm going to talk about uh, pretty quick about the first day of school, which was yesterday, and then today is the second day of school. So the first day of school, um, it's pretty much basic. We just talk about you know different learning style, how to like take notes and um, how to basically study and then we also talk about like what book that we are going to bring in um, each subject in each class and then also rules like with the classroom you know no photo taking um, because it everything is um, are not allowed to take pictures in there like you can't take the machine photos or when we do um, scanning we can't take photos um, in those things um, um, as much as possible no late you know don't be late and attendance is a must so those um, uh, kind of stuff and then yesterday the second part was actually um, learning how to turn on the um, the machine that we're gonna using for the rest of this semester so it's you know the uh, sono sonogram machine um, so that we are thought how to turn it on turn it off and then what are the knobs for so we kind of just um, know how to play around with it and just pretty much basic so it was so much exciting just to do that and from then on it just really made me feel that I'm already a certified diagnostic medical sonography student so it was really really cool and then today which is the second day we went with um, uh, discussing the subject another subject um, and we went over with the scanning uh, methods and our other teacher just teach us basically like when you use your transducer it's just the basic part as well um, nothing major so when you use your transducer you have to know where is the um, proximal anterior posterior you know the distal um, proximal um, inferior part of the body that's basically what you need to know because when you like for example scan the abdomen or the thyroid for example you know you have to kind of know where is the um, the distal or the superior part when you look at the screen so that's what we go through and then um, after that then we went with um, going with our partners you know we we have to have partners in the class so that we can do our scanning so that was so exciting because I was able to scan my um, classmate which was my partner so I was able to scan her abdomen and she was able to scan my abdomen so it was just so enjoyable to do and and that was our assignment we have to do like um, the TGC scan um, the zoom scan the depth scan and all of that but we were not thought yet like the specific parts of you know the abdomen or you have to look for the pathology or anything like that nothing like that just the basic but um, it's very exciting just to do that and I'm so just because of that I'm very very thankful again I was like oh thank God for um, you know passing um, with the TEs exam and then for accepting me in this you know program that they I got accepted so it's very uh, very very cool just to do all those things and it's my favorite thing to do um, and uh, this is basically what I wanted to do in the future um, or in as a job you know a long-term car uh, car career career that I will do for uh, for the rest of my life so um, if you are thinking about doing the diagnostic medical sonography definitely search um, research more about it and then um, think about like what you wanted to do you know five years ten years from now so that you just don't want to you know enroll yourself um, to, to a college and then ended, ending up not wanting to do that kind of job so just what we're doing right now I can just picture out scanning a patient and all of that good stuff so that's what we're doing 
today and I'll be updating all of you, you know, especially with my diagnostic medical sonography um, journey. So whoever is interested in this program, at least you have a guide. And if you have any questions, yeah, definitely ask us, ask and comment below. Thank you very much for your time. Till next time. Bye.